Hello and welcome. In this video, we are backtesting the EMA Stochastic RSI ATR trading strategy from the previous video using a Python backtesting library. Please watch the previous video and also my introduction to the library backtesting.py to better follow along. I highly recommend to not skip a single second of this video. Yes, single second. And I also promise you it will be worth it. So let's get started. We need some libraries, Y Finance to get asset prices from the internet, Pandas for data handling, TA to calculate technical indicators. And from the backtesting library, we need backtest and strategy. And also from backtesting lib, we will need the crossover function. Now let's pull price data for the Euro US dollar as we did in the previous video using YF download pass the ticker symbol for euro us dollar starting in the beginning of 2021 and consider the one hour interval ending up with a data frame like this you already know that so this is the data we will feed into our backtest so let's define our strategy so we are creating a class here just calling that trade pro and this is inheriting from strategy which we've imported above here now in the init method we will define our technical indicators so defining init here it's taking self and now to make things easier i'm defining the close as the provided data's close column here i will need that to calculate my technical indicators and i'm doing the same thing for the high and the low, we will need that for the ATR. So the other technical indicators you could calculate using only the close here, right? So I'm talking about stochastic K-line, D-line, EMA 8, 1450 here. So we need the high and the low for the ATR. This is why I'm defining that here as well. Now let's define our technical indicators using or starting with the stochastic K-line using self i, use ta momentum, stochastic rsi k, and provide our close transformed to a series. Same for the stochastic d line. So just changing that to d, this one to d, and that's it. Same for the Triple EMA, so I'm starting with the EMA 8 here using self i, TA trend, EMA indicator, provide my close price here as a series, and define the window as 8. So, same for the other EMAs. So, 14, taking a window of 14, 50, taking a window of 50 and that's it for the emas last but not least atr using self i ta volatility volatility average true range and now i have to provide the high the low and also the close all right and that's it for our technical indicators so let's define the next method here taking self and as explained in the backtesting.py video this is working similar to backtrader so this is just checking every row right so in every row I'm checking the price by simply passing the close column. And now I'm just providing the conditions we've defined in the previous videos. So I'm taking if, and here I'm providing my conditions. First is, do I have a crossover? So does the K line cross the D line? And we can just use crossover. So we have imported that here and just pass self k-line and self 
D-line. Very simple. So this is doing the check for us. So is the K-line above the D-line? And wasn't that the case the day before? Right, so very, very convenient here. Okay, so this is our first condition. Second condition is our price higher than the EMA8, right? And is our EMA8 higher than our EMA14? And is our EMA14 higher than our EMA15? So these were the buying conditions, right? Now we are getting to the interesting part. Now, if we have those conditions fulfilled, what do we want to do? First, we want to lock in a stop loss, right? Just calling that SL here. Our stop loss was just our price, so our close, minus the ATR times three. Our target profit, calling that TP here, was our price plus our ATR times two. Right, so we have locked in our stop loss and our target profit whenever those conditions are fulfilled. And also we want to buy. So triggering buy and provide our stop loss as stop loss and our target profit as target profit. And that's already it for our strategy. Right? So let's execute that and let's fire. So we are defining BT using backtest, provide our data frame, take the trade pro strategy we've defined, provide a cash amount with one trade, let's just take 10 grand. We're also setting exclusive orders to true. And now we are defining an output, running the backtest. So let's see what we got. We have a return of minus 7%. Well, at least better than the buy and hold return here, right? But as you see, we lost money. So our winning rate is 53% here. And very important, we didn't even include commission yet, right? So you can do that, but there is no point because we already know this strategy, at least on this asset and on this interval, doesn't make any profit. All right, so you can also plot it using BT plot here. I've explained that in the introduction tutorial, right? So equity curve here, PNL here, and chart with technical indicators here. Okay, so finally, I just want to verify that the backtesting library is doing the right trades. Therefore, I'm accessing the trades using output dot underscore trades and compare them with the trades using the from scratch approach from the previous video. So let's take a look at EG this trade here, right? So the second trade was resulting in a stop loss. The stop loss was 1.22 something here, right? So we should also take a look at the time when this was occurring. 11 o'clock, right, on the 6th January. This was my second trade here. Now, I would expect that I'm getting one hour later entry in this data frame. Why? Because the backtesting library is opening up the trade, the next candles open, or the next time steps open. And this will be the case here. So you can take a look at entry time and you see that the trade is being opened at 12 o'clock here. So one hour later than here, because this is only showing when this signal was true, right? This trade was closed 15 o'clock. And now, as we know that at 15 o'clock, the target profit or stop loss, in this case, stop loss was triggered. It is inside this candle. So this is the same time. So when you are comparing with using my approach here, you have to add the next rows open here or take the next rows open. So let's take a look at the entry price and the exit price. So the exit price must be my stop loss, right? From the buying row here. 
so this one here and you see this is exactly the same price here right so let's take another example let's take the so you see that we have nan values with this approach so this is a trade this is a trade this is a trade so you have to take trade one trade two trade three and so on here right so if we are taking trade four hitting a target profit we should get an exit price in this data frame of 1.215 and so on right so let's take a look at the trade number four here one two three four you see that we have an exit price of exactly this target profit right so again with the entry we have 19th January come on sorry for that so we have one two three four we have entry time 90th January and we have one hour later than the signal occurring here right and let's take a look at the exit we have 1.215426 here right which is again the target profit of this row all right and yeah that's it for the video so i hope this was informative useful helpful whatsoever if you want more content like this subscribe like and let me know in the comments below looking forward to see you in the upcoming videos thank you very much for watching bye bye